Hey everybody, welcome back to the American Off-Road RC. I'd like to uh, show you up close, detailed uh, goodies on each crawler sometimes. And uh, this is the G-Made R1, came as a kit. It's a year and a half, almost two years ago. It's gone through a couple different tires and motors and servos and different things because you put your own electronics in there and everything. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's the there's the Trailmaster Sport uh, 27 turn in there right now, and right now uh, the 3S battery that I usually put on there is um, in the uh, Ecto, so I got the 2S just hanging off the back there, and uh, it'll work as a, a demo today, but the short 3S uh, and stuff like that looks definitely better sitting in that battery tray than this big old honking 2S hanging off the back there, but whatever it'll work for the display just imagine that's not there so uh <laughs> it's also got uh the uh bent links i think uh, come with it let's bring it over this way a little more and, uh, a line of fire. oh that didn't work at all i just my fast rims i'm not looking at the camera all right um tactic uh, servo uh, steering's not the uh, greatest. Uh, we've got the deep woods on their tires right now. They're great, so this thing is crawling as good as it can do. Uh, the shocks have been readjusted and adjusted and adjusted. My son, I think, has got them set really good for a crawler. It doesn't uh, flex like crazy, which sometimes gets you into trouble. Uh, it flexes just enough and then holds that uh, suspension to uh, hold the line and uh, pull everything over to the next spot. A um, few things have been changed like that. The, the links. Like I said, it was a kit that all came together. The aluminum bracings on the top, uh, that was an add-on. Um, let's see, it's got the, uh, oh, let me bring it over this way, I can show you if I can actually touch it. Let's bring it over in front of the camera myself. Then I can show you, uh, Spectrum SR, SRX 200. Let me just take a move that out of the way. All right, there we go, two channel. Um, painted their own body panels. These are the aluminum supports, upgrades, and then the uh, the roof. Um, the paint came off, so uh, I repainted it, and I repainted it, and I didn't do a great job on it. So uh, I'm going to repaint the roof in the meantime. Um, I decided to cut this up and put that on there. I thought that was kind of cool. Does anybody know? Does that look kind of familiar? Anything? Just barely. Um, it was a 3D print that uh, turned out wrong. The, the needle got dirty and then it uh, didn't print all the way. This is the uh, top of the Millennium Falcon just with red paint on it. And then I cut it all down because it didn't turn out right. I just cut it all down as a cool little roof panel. So definitely makes it original. Oh, I just threw it into the, I wanted to throw it into the line of fire. Okay, let me try that again. There we go. I was going to take it and throw it into the line of fire so you can see it bounce and see um, it'll, uh, the suspension set pretty well. Oh no. Oh, it's got it all messed up. Stuck on the rock. It'll flex pretty well but not uh, overdo it. Um, at first it was uh, flexing so much that uh, uh, it was basically like the E10 where uh, flexed so much that it uh, kind of hurt itself at the end instead of uh, flexing and holding that uh, ability it just kept flexing until it twisted itself so you know you got to find that happy medium where it'll still crawl up stuff but uh, not be too much and this is done pretty well so see how those shocks are set where they're uh, pretty low and then right there at the back uh, driver well I guess since it's a unibuggy and you'd be in there it'd just be we'll just call it left back left is uh, uh, tucked all the way so from that point I'll just pull and go from there. It's either going to go and grab, oh I got my wheel up front, it's kind of touching that root so that's what was causing I just got a glimpse of that in the corner of my eye. Anyways, uh, I was watching the shock there so see how that brought all the way down and then once it settles back down, uh, there will be pretty much settled back down. Yeah, it's even on both sides for the most part. So flex is good. Got the portal, so uh, you get that uh, high clearance 
on the axles. Let's get one straight up that loose brick. Those are, uh, yeah, I gotta kind of set those in something. In the meantime, they're just gonna sit in there. Uh, something to play with. Yeah, they're moving around everywhere. Uh, no big deal, but uh, we'll kind of set those in there and so they kind of stay in position. I think that'll work a little bit better for this little area that we're playing in. Anyways, um, yeah, just kind of going to give you a little update, show you what she's got on her and what she's looking like. Uh, those beautiful panels and uh, all that kind of stuff. Just going to do a, you know, a couple minute video and uh, show you what we got going on on it. And that's about it. So, call this one the uh, Black Widow. So we're going to do a little kind of Black Widow theme on the, the next uh, roof, I think. Just kind of like uh, the panels on the side. You know, they're uh, black and red. And you got the uh, black and red up front there on that one. So you can zoom in on it. Let's see if that'll work. Here we go. Black and red. Kind of a cool theme. All right, everybody. Take care. See you out on the trail. Go up that bridge. And up that one. Just throw it down the hill. <laughs> and then it's all soft dirt behind it, so she's just digging holes right now. And I almost touched the belly. And I'm gonna go up this way a little bit more and just stay away from the belly. Let's move the, the rocks down the hill. Oh, can you see that? That last one. The brick just moved down the hill. <laughs> like I said, we'll have to stick those up in the hill there so we'll stick a little bit better then we can crawl around a little bit more oh yeah there's that stick i gotta get rid of that and that stick right there i'll just do that to get around it oh it's quite thick over there all right can't crow before i'm out of the woods but there's exceptions to the rules this may be one of them all right, take care, everyone. See you out on the trail, like I said. <laughs> See ya. Oh, right on the servo. Wait, right on the servo. <laughs>following it. No, they're not interested. I think they smelt it. You know what it is? Oh, you're not even gonna, you're just gonna lay down? No interest. What if it went really fast? Oh yeah, it's fast for it, probably. Right? Just full the speed. <laughs> it got their interest a little bit. Well, that's one slow again. Huh? Nope. Just gonna lay down and take a nap. Alright, well, I'll go back to crawling. I was having fun. I thought it was cool all of a sudden. I thought I was done, and all of a sudden they uh, started coming over to see what I was doing and following me. Uh oh, follow that link. Let me get off of it. Uh, I'll have to back up. Back up to get all set. All right. Take care, everybody. See you out on the trail. <laughs>
Oh yeah, I got some funky stuff in the links there, no? Maybe you can help me get that out. Can you get that? Maybe you can have that. Get that. Is there any more? Oh. Man, that stuff gets everywhere, huh? Climb it through the grass.